Hi everyone, welcome to the Earth Science Classroom. This is a video on passive and active margins, and this video is going to accompany the other video just on content and the differences. So this one is basically just me showing you this basic hand-drawn outline of the Earth and showing you the global distribution of where these passive and active margins are. So first, let's look at the Atlantic Ocean. All right, and let's just do I'm going to do blue. Blue is passive. I'm going to do, um, let's do, let's do purple, purple as active. All right, so there's our, there's our key. So passive is going to be down the East Coast of America. Now, the idealistic passive is based on the U.S. East Coast. And also you've got the, the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico right here, and you have a lot of it right here as well, going down through Brazil, South America, and obviously into Argentina down here. Now, the cool thing is around Antarctica as well, you have this uh, passive margin, also from the breakup of Pangaea with uh, Gondwana. You also have around the, uh, around the continent of Africa, you have pretty much passive all passive um, around the edge, going up to the Gulf of Mexico, oh God, Persian Gulf, sorry, here. There we go. Also around India as well, it's passive around India. Okay. So also we can do the European coastlines around. Uh, Scandinavia up here, okay, and Ireland and England, and around Iberian Peninsula right here on the uh, west side, also around Greenland as well. It's pretty much all passive. Now, there are differences, like I said before in the video, there is volcanic passive and there's non volcanic passive, and the volcanism is pretty much ancient, so there was volcanoes present during the time of Rifkin uh, in the stage one of the Wilson cycle, but has obviously stopped after the Rifkin occurred and the ocean basin became in the, into the mature stage. So looking at the uh, continent of Australasia with country of Australia right here, we have pretty much a entire landmass surrounded by a nice passive margin so what's left then so pretty much everything else now we know the as discussed in the active passive margin that uh the pacific ring of fire now the pacific is all over here and here around this margin around this this edge of the ocean we do have our active margin our subduction zones our trenches, okay. Um, I did go over a little bit of the San Andreas fault line, but we'll get to that later on, okay. And that the this part of of Central America down through the west coast of South America with the Andes and the trench Nazca plate down there. And we also have obviously Alaska, and we have the Ring of Fire going through here, through Russia, down through Japan, okay, through the Philippines. And then we have some active boundaries around Indonesia and Malaysia up here. And it comes through and goes around like this, comes down through New Zealand like that. So pretty much you have around the Pacific Ocean, okay, and around some parts of the Mediterranean as well and around... Um, you do have this um, pretty much two distinct areas of the world, one active, one passive, and this connected with the Wilson cycle and with sea floor spreading and with, with Wegener back in 1912, 1915, kind of created the understanding of plate tectonics. Now, with the margins, with earthquakes, with volcanism, with tectonic plates, 
both major, which are the large ones, and minor plates, which are the small ones. And we figured out how this huge jigsaw puzzle of crustal rock is deformed and moved and shaped through underlying convection currents in the mantle. And yeah, there you have it. Just a nice distribution of active versus passive margins. All right. Thank you, everyone. Just uh, like the video, please subscribe and look forward to seeing you in the next video.